Today we're fishing circle hooks and the hair rigs on both rods. Yes, we are both rods. We've given up on J hooks altogether because they're not very good and they don't catch that many fish and the fish get hurt. Yes, they do. So instead of that, we're giving it up altogether. Today we're going to fish completely with the hair rigs and we're going to see what happens. It's about 10 o'clock in the night time, waiting for the sun to go down and the dabs to start biting. And I think it's going to be a great night. I really do. I think we're going to catch a lot of fish. You never know, we might get lucky, we might get a cod, we might not. Just getting a bite on the left hand side rod and I'm going to pull it in now and see what we got. Nice little dab. Don't know what size it is yet, but we give it a measure. There we go, 26 centimeters. That's good enough for me. Keep that for the dinner. So, here we go. We've got some low guam. We're gonna put these on the hair rig now. I hope you can still see anyway. Just one for each hook will do nicely. This is why I couldn't do the last, what? This is why I couldn't do the last video. It's film me put the bait on the hook. If you're new to this and you're using bait needles, loads of tension on the, the bait needle. And I think slide it over. All the rest. And when you're using this system that I devised, that's not enough. You need to hook the head over just to to make sure that it stays on the hook there. Give the hair a little tug like that. Straightens it out. Bam! There we go. On to the next one. Slide that worm up a bit. These are the old fresh lug that I was talking about in the last video. If you're joining me for this one and you're new to this channel and everybody is because this is the second video. This is my uh, thing. Circle hooks for from the shore for flat fish and other fish. It's a bit of an adventure because we don't know what's susceptible to this technique exactly. All of them, I know quite a few. Rays and all the types of sharks. 
big, small, indifferent, doesn't matter. Bigger hooks, bigger baits, bigger hairs. That's about your lot there. There you go. And when you do this, this is my uh, pulley paddle master. Don't know anybody else who uses it. I'm not going to give it a stupid name. It's pulley paddle master. That's what it is. It does exactly what it says in the tin. Let's go. Just about to wind one out, wind one up, and lash it out. So, just a word about the tackle, the bait, everything else. Here we have frozen lug. We've got the old fresh stinky lug in there. And we've got oil lug as well. So we got plenty of bait for today. The tackle, Sonic XK7 I believe. Or four, was it? Four. <laughs> four. Old Meg 525s, 50 pound braid, 120 pound braid leader. Six pound or six ounce leads, cone leads. That's it. Lovely job. The tide is out, <laughs> as you can probably tell <laughs> right now. Anyway, so uh, yeah, there's the rods. It's going to be cracking night tonight, I can tell. First cast, first fish. Second one, I had a fish as well, but got a load of weed on the line. I don't know where that came from, they don't have any of that around here. It's a blue in from Norway or something. Anyway, so uh, yeah, where are we? There's one in the bucket, ready to go. Here's uh, how I fish on my yoke anyway. Just a little table here, I devised. I'll do a video about that as well, I'm sure a few people would like one like that. Um, it's handy, it clips onto the side of my box and everything else, so not much wasted space or anything. Um, yeah, so this is what the camp looks like tonight. Got my stand over there for the camera and the light. And uh, this is the beach. It's quite nice this evening, apart from all the flies and everything else like that, you know. But that's the summertime. It's definitely better than the winter time. So, uh, yeah, getting ready for Norway. Can't wait to go to Norway. I mean, spur dogs and God knows what else. God knows what else. You can never tell with Norway what's going to happen. The south of Norway is completely different to the north of Norway. 
the water's much deeper, so you think, well, yeah, there's going to be a lot more bigger fish and everything, but that's not the case. As I stated in the last video, it's just weirder fish. Um, that's about it, so uh, just waiting for a bite. Let's sit you up there for a minute. Maybe we get one on camera. Did I walk in front of it? There we go. There you go, look at that! Fine on camera! They're very obliging these dabs. Very obliging indeed. First time filming. 15 fish today already. First cast. Nice dab. Hope to get some place though. Place would be great. Um yeah. it's be a good night. Stop biting. As long as the fish don't stop biting, we're golden, right? Just gonna bring it a second rod here. This was on the other side, but I had to switch it over because the tide pushed the other one over the top. And then I trucked it out a little bit further, so we give this one a tug in. It had a few bites on it. Looked like just small fish, but you can't really tell. Oh, that feels actually okay. So, I oh, maybe it's just a crab, maybe. So, we get a lash there. A lot of weed on the line. Nah, don't think there's anything on it. If it is, it's a small one. Oh, that's just the edge there of the beach. I think. Or that, a foul hook something. Lump of weed. Yeah. <laughs> I just uh, hit the leader now, that's all. Oh, it's a good bite on the other rod anyway. Ah, weed. So, browse and look. Worth saying, for you that haven't joined the channel before, as I said before anyway, nobody has. <laughs> this is a braid, that's an old size two hook. That's a size one. So it's one Mustad Demon Circle. Not that common around these parts. And like I said before, the whole secret with circles is the way the, the, the hook's tied on and where the bait is positioned. And that's the secret behind circle hooks. Just over the top there. Lovely. Then down to the bottom one. And the same thing again. Keeping the... ever nice and tight. So nothing slips off. And the good thing about this is you don't need any bait stops and um, you can't mask the hook, which is really cool, especially for beginners. It might seem a bit difficult, but trust me, it's not. Once you know how to do it.
I cast. I use tummy like this. It's made from heavy duty uh, rubber gloves. Not marigolds, they're no good. They'll just rip and tear it and come off. They're a pain. Uh, you have to have something like this. If you have an accident, especially with braid, it'll tear your thumb off. Or you won't be fishing for the rest of the evening, and that's no good, is it? I hope we get a new, another bite soon. Look at that. Fantastic. We're going to bring in the left hand rod. See if we go.
Tschüss. Deep hooked on the circle hook. You saw how it did there, grabbed the hair, bounced them off, just like a T bar. It's brilliant. So the right hard rod had this whole Moby Dick thing going on. You stop for now, I'm gonna take it in and have a look. I'm gonna put the camera on the chest so you can see that this thing is on. Anyway, this is basically how it goes till about dawn. The tide's going to slack at some time, I'm pretty sure, in about an hour or so. I just put out a really long cast in the hopes right now is my best chance of a decent place around here. I haven't seen any this year or last year. It's very disappointing because I love to catch a place. Actually, I don't often keep that many of them because I think they're pretty. And they actually scrap a bit as well around here. So pretty cool so I'm gonna stop filming for a while because the tide's gonna slack and the fish is gonna turn off and then around dawn I'll turn you back on again and the whole thing will start all over again laters anyway we're coming to the end of the session it's been pretty good had a few disasters fish swam one rig into another I pulled the whole lot in together. Unfortunately, I managed to get on tight uh, and untangled. About to pack up two last casts, as they say. A bucket of fish, I don't know. We'll find out 
at the end of the day, but I'm ruined and I need to go. Dawn is starting. It's pretty. All right. Enough now. So the session's over. Nine, ten fish, two went back. Food for the family. Tired. Want to go home. <sighs> so if you like it, like it. You know the rest. Bye. <laughs>